This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MJ Marbella. We're in Manchester here after the wane for uh, Fury and Ustinov. With me I've got promoters of Francis Warren. How are you Francis? Not bad Coog, not bad as a mouthful. In association with MGM? Yeah, yeah. We've, got, we've, got we've, been the, we've got to get the sponsors in, we've got to get the sponsors in. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it's been a tough week uh, for your old promotional team, but you kind of swung it round and got it together in the end. Yeah, I mean, you know, the old man's pulled it out of the bag. Um, and brought in a really, really credible replacement for Derek. Obviously, Derek's absolutely gutted with, um, with the injury. Um, and full credit to Jason McClory, our matchmaker, for, um, for all his hard work this week. Um, you know, in fact, for to our whole, whole office. And, and um, fair play for, to Houston for stepping up and taking this fight. Um, and, uh, you know, Tyson's obviously been preparing for Derek um, for you know, the last eight to ten weeks, I suppose. And um, you know, it's a complete di completely different opponent, so um, it's going to be an interesting one Saturday. Um, after, obviously, the unfortunate injury to Derek, was there the possibility of, like, Tyson also being off the bill, or was it always going to be the case Tyson would fight on this bill regardless of whatever? I think in the immediate sort of aftermath of Derek pulling out, um, you know, it was kind of a bit, a bit slightly up in the air, I suppose. Um, there's no good just Tyson going in there and fighting just anybody. Um, he's not, you know, he's at a level where he's got to be having top top fights. And um, although he did say, say yesterday that he would get in there and fight anyone just to, you know, to give give his fans a show, um, I think from a from a promotional point of view, it's you know, it's got to be a credible opponent, and that's what we managed to get. Mm. Um, Tyson's been very vocal since the press conference yesterday uh, about bit. these uh, <laughs> conspiracy theories involving the clips goes, Derek's not really injured, blah blah blah. What have you got and to say? There was about never a moon landing either. <laughs> what have you got to say about that? Derek's got an injury. Mm. You know, uh, you know, certainly there's certainly no conspiracy theory. It's conspiracy. There might be a theory, but there's no you know, there's no reality to it. Um, Derek's got a, a, a you know a serious injury. Um, Caused by the guy who, is, who uh, Tyson is actually fighting now, so um, you kept that kept that camera still well there. So I've just landed on your ear, like done well. Okay. okay. Um, so uh, you know, it's um, no, there's no conspiracy theories. You know, Derek Derek wants to fight Tyson, and, and, and uh, despite what Tyson suggested at, at the uh, press conference, hopefully we can um, make that fight again. I know, obviously, where Tyson has obviously been frustrated this week, but the obvious disappointment for Derek as well because he's had to. Pull out of, out of a massive fight for him. He's been involved in huge fights before. Well, they both could have fought in, I think, at the last Copper Box show, but they both decided not to um, because of the, obviously this fight coming up. So they both really have missed out. Well, Derek's now really missed out on two dates. So yeah, he's massively disappointed. Um, it's, it'll be up Saturday though, um, sitting at ringside, you know, to keep a close eye on what hopefully is to come for him in his next fight. Um, but Tyson's got a serious, serious challenge on his hands on Saturday, so you know, I think you know, whatever Derek's you know, coming up for, um, Tyson's got to put on a good show. Mm. Uh, it's interesting, obviously their, their combined height, so I'm not sure there's ever been a heavyweight fight uh, at a professional level that totals their combined height, if anyone like knows that. Pole. What's that? If they got on each other's shoulders, they've got a totem pole. <laughs> it is. It's, it's going to be an intrig intriguing matchup. But um, Chisora Fury, is that is the ship sailed with that? Or is, I hope not. It's, yeah. a, it's a cracking matchup. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been made in the first place. I mean, the first fight was what it was. It was a bit of a bit of a, bit of a slugfest, and you know, Derek was very much out of shape. Tyson was a lot younger and probably hadn't honed his skills as much as he has done now. Um, there's a much, you know, much more talented and all-round fighter now than he was back then. They're both totally different fighters. Um, and, you know, we're obviously you know, we're, you know, massively disappointed it's not happening this weekend. But they're, you know, they're the two two of the best heavyweights in the, you know around so it's you know eventually it's got to happen but you know we want to make it next for the next one mm. there, there was several titles obviously on the line the european title british title uh, some other titles obviously that doesn't come into play here uh against it was a night ship on the line as well or something. Uh, how does it work with the eliminator process if tyson is to win this where does it leave him uh, in regards to obviously the, the previous fight was a final eliminator that was for the, in the WBO. Yeah. Usanov's highly ranked in the WBA and the IBF. Um, so you know, I think it's, you know it would just be, it would just improve Tyson's rankings in in the other governing bodies. Mm. Well, well, listen. Um, you had a good wake up here. I've been here, haven't I? You have been here. I've been here all week. Yeah, I feel like I've got to know you on a whole new level. <laughs> <laughs> I've been up here. I've been um, I've been living in Man. That's the longest time I've ever actually been somewhere away from England. <laughs> All week, but it's been good. I made the most of it. Yeah, good. Done a few gym visits and. You've got some big news coming as well, haven't you? 
the next couple, week or so. We've got something in the pipeline yeah, that's yeah, uh, waiting to be announced soon that uh, obviously you know about, so uh, we'll look forward to that. I'm in the inner circle. You're in the know. <laughs> You're in the know. But um, weighing done today, there was a lot of weighings today. Uh, 17 fights on tomorrow. It's a long day, starting at 4 o'clock. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we've got some cracking fights on tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to Jack, um, Jack Capture and Nathan Bruff. It's uh, a cracking fight. And also Heffron and Liam Williams. Um, Jack and Nathan, winner of that. I would like to make um, Tom Stalker um, against Tom Stalker. Tom's also on tomorrow night. And um, the winner of Ronnie and Liam will fight um, Liam Smith. So, you know, we've got some real, really interesting matchups. You know, guys who have got a, a, you know, a sort of carrot on the end of the stick uh, for winning, this, for winning their prospective fights. Um, Liam Walsh is back in action. Really, you know, really glad to see him back. You know, he's in great, in great shape today after you know, some real frustrating injury layoffs. Um, and we've got, you know, obviously Billy Joe on, um, looking to make a big statement to, um, you know, to you know, get a European title around his waist, and then, um, you know, hopefully be going on to challenge for for world titles at the, at the end of this year. Let's hope so. All right, well, listen, Francis, thanks for talking to uh, IFL TV, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Top man. And uh, we'll be roaming about with our camera. As you do. When I say you early, you get like, you get where water don't get. So I was right behind that other way, and I've got another angle of the Hello. the fury and Houston of uh, Wayne. So <laughs> we'll put that out later as well. All right. Oh, thanks for talking to Cheers, us. Cheers, Thank Best you. Mate. Thanks.